Hello, thank you for stopping at my channel. This is Lisa. Today we're going to do a sea turtle underwater scene. Someone asked me if I could do one and I said, well, I'm not sure. Let's try it. I'm using a six by seven, three quarter inch piece of MDF board, which I spray painted black. And I'm putting down a scrap of a jelly print that had some bubbles and some blue and green and it reminded me of seawater. So I thought, well, let's try it. Then I wanted to use this stamp and die set and I'll list it below. It is by Stampendous and I use it a lot. It has the coral reef, all of the seashells, and things of that nature and I think it is going to be great for this piece. So I'm stamping it in my archival ink and I'm going to cover the stamp image with some matte medium. Give it a little dry here so I didn't smear it and the reason I'm doing that is to set the ink and then I'm going to go over the image with some of my big brush pit markers that will dry permanent and that's what I need if I'm going to do layers over the top. So here's a stencil that I had and I thought that this gave movement in the idea of water and there's a few dots on there so it looked like bubbles so I just kept going with it. I'm going to use some acrylic paint in the color ocean. How um, appropriate that is and a little sponge uh, makeup sponge and I'm going to push that paint through that stencil just on the edges I'm giving my piece kind of a border I didn't want to take away too much from that sea turtle image that I found in a um, on a piece of wallpaper that I cut out so I thought that it would give it some real nice design around the edge. So I went around the whole edge <clears throat> and thought it would give it a nice border. I'm hoping you made it through the holidays and you're playing with some of your new craft products that Santa might have brought you. I am going to do a video um, here shortly and that's going to be my top 12 products that I use all the time and that'll be coming up so stay tuned for that I hope that you like it now I'm going to work on those pieces of coral reef I have an orange and a brown big brush pit marker which I'll link below and I put mostly the brown to the bottom because I thought that that would create kind of a shadow. I'm just going over the whole image and blending it with my finger there. I printed three because I wasn't sure how many I was going to use. And if I have extra, I just pop it right in with the stamp and die set. So next time I reach for it, I may only need one piece and then I would have one finished already. So I'm going to let that dry just a bit and I'm going to take it over and cut it out with my die and I use a Big Shot machine. My background is dry and it looks like I'm going to use two over to the right hand bottom side and I'm going to put that down with my matte medium. This was a real quick and easy project. I think from start to finish, I created it in just about an hour. Um, I think that it turned out real nice and it's nice to be able to do a real quick project. I think about things and then it's much easier once I sit down to do it. Here I'm mixing up my burnt umber and my water and I am making a wash to go over that background. I wanted it to all work together and give it a little um, darker color because it's supposed to be underwater, right? It can't be super, super bright. And I wanted down in that right-hand corner to be a little bit darker. 
as the shadow of that coral would be down in that area. I think it's an excellent, excellent color for the background and it worked out real well. Now I'm thinking, well, the bottom needs to be kind of like dirt or sand. So I turned it upside down and let that paint just run a bit and tapping it with my brush. And it gave it a real nice bottom of the ocean floor. Everything's dry. And I peeled up some of that coral that I had stuck down previously because I wanted the sea turtle to kind of go behind. I was told once that you need to try and have your focal point um, all be connected. I know that my sentiment is going to be down in that left hand corner, but I believe that it did work with this piece. I didn't want to have too many different things that were um, focal points to look at. So by adding those two together, it really pulls it all together. And I had these um, little stickers out of this sticker packet and you can see the great deal I got on that. The original price was $4.99, I think it said, and I got it on sale clearance for $1.25. So again, I'll list it below. And of course, you probably won't get it for a dollar and a quarter, but um, it's good to have those options. I just cut off that little bit of coral around the edge and I liked how I had it hanging off the side there. The sentiment says begin to explore and I think that it kind of looks great with this sea turtle. I'm giving everything another quick dry and I feel like I have a bubble underneath the sea turtle shell and I kept um, pushing on it hoping that it would go down. But in the end, um, does it really matter? A sea turtle may have a little texture on his back. I am going all around the image with my General's 6B Extra Soft Charcoal Pencil, and this gives it a great definition and shadow to the project. And I'm going to continue doing this and a lot off camera because I went on every stitch of that shell, every line to make it look like it had defined um, shells. And here is my Signal white gel pen, just giving a little bit of white highlight where the sun may be coming through the water and hitting that coral and that black edge that I love. And I'm just going around. It gives it a great border, pulls it all together. And I really like this piece, real quick and easy. And sometimes you just need a quick and easy piece. So I'm using that, I'm blending it with my finger. And I think it turned out great. Let, let me know what you think in the comments below. Share with a friend and I have a few close-up shots for you coming up. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.